This is the story of a primo water bottle. It starts as a humble American-grown crop and makes its way to the NatureWorks facility here in Blair, Nebraska. Inside, through the miracle of science and technology, these simple plants begin their transformation into primo water bottles. Hi, I'm Jana, and here we are at the state-of-the-art NatureWorks facility, the only commercial scale size plant of its kind in the world. Right here is where they create NGO plastic, which will eventually be turned into Primo water bottles. These bottles are made from a natural plastic made from plants, unlike traditional plastic bottles made from oil. The bottles look and feel just like other plastic water bottles. But they're so much better for the environment. They're made of renewable and sustainable resources grown right here in the USA. Unlike PET plastics, which are made from crude oil, a depleting and rare resource that we often must get from foreign countries. Here we are at the NatureWorks facility, where they take corn and turn it into NGO plastic to make these renewable Primo water bottles. And here we are with Carrie Buckles. Hiya, Carrie. Hi. Carrie's the operation manager here. Could you take us through the facility? I'd be glad to, Jenna. Let's go take a look. Great. So, Carrie, take us through the process from when the corn comes in to when the NGO pellets come out. Okay, you know this pellet starts as a, starts with uh, corn entering the Cargill site here. And corn is separated in into three components: the mm -hmm. the oil fraction, the starch fraction, and the protein fraction. The starch fraction of a corn kernel is then converted to a family of sugars. One of those sugars is dextrose or glucose. That raw material is supplied to a facility where that dextrose, using fermentation processes, is converted into lactic acid. Lactic acid is the basic raw material that's supplied to this polymer process to be converted into the NGO pellet. So this is the final product. That's These the are final the pellets. Product. Carrie, can you tell us why this is more environmentally friendly than using petroleum-based plastics? The production of this biopolymer uses 65% less energy than an oil-based plastic, mm -hmm. and it also generates 80 to 90 percent less greenhouse gases in the production of this bio-based polymer. Wow, all in this little thing. All in that one little polymer. That's amazing. What we have here is the final product being packaged and shipped, ready for shipment to customers. So these plastic pellets are made into what's then called preforms, which then is blown into these bottles, which turn into our Primo plastic water bottles. We are now here at one of Primo's select facilities where these bottles are finally filled with, you guessed it, Primo water. This is where they're filled with Primo water and labeled. Then they're packed into cases and sent to stores across the country. Like the grocery store in your neighborhood. The fact is, you can't help feeling good twice when you know you're drinking great tasting water in an environmentally friendly bottle. It's good for you and it's good for the planet. On the next episode, we'll visit an average family and see why they and thousands of others prefer Primo water. Go ahead and watch the remaining episodes to find out more. It's really cool.